Yeah, this really isn't the greatest weather, but you know what? Come rain, sunshine, snow or hail, here at Ignition GT we've got a job to do, and that is bringing you the latest from the world of motoring. And it's no different, I guess, for manufacturers. Even in the tough times, they've got to persevere. The challenge in our market, though, is for a manufacturer to get the mix of models right, because our consumers are very, very picky. So what Renault has decided to do is not offer us the facelifted Kajar, but rather bring back an all-new second-generation Kulios. Now, if you look at what the word Kulios means, in Latin, it's testicles. And you might think that Renault have a big set of Kulios bringing this back to market. I am a massive fan of the latest Renault styling and everything we love about the Megane you'll find on the Kulios, just sitting a little higher off the ground and more in your face. You'll be pleased to know that you don't need an R-Line type styling pack to finish things off. Literally what you see on our top spec Dynamic, you get on the entry level expression, bar the slightly bigger 18 inch wheels and the satin chrome finish on the front skid plate. There are automatic LED daytime running lights all round with pure vision LED headlights on the higher spec and the cornering fog lamps are standard across the range. In profile, it does feel like a previous generation Touareg with its super flat surface. There are no defining creases or character lines, perhaps too bland for some. The Kulios is built on Renault Nissan common module family platform, which is the foundation for the Qashqai, the X-Trail and the Kajar. And at 200mm longer, the Kulios is significantly bigger than the car it's essentially replacing. It is longer than its competitors. The benefit mainly for the rear passengers as the boot at 464 litres is 30 litres smaller than that of the Sportage and it also includes a full size spare. Quick release buttons open up more practicality. Its name may divide opinion but the look certainly won't. This is not a fussy design at all. Now the French always offer fantastic spec as standard. It's no different in the case of the Kulios, and for me I really think it is one of the biggest selling points with the manufacturer. So let's go through the list of what is standard, starting with the multifunction steering wheel, which is height and reach adjustable. Very, very cool. I've got cruise control, it comes with speed limiter as well. We've got electric windows all round, and then the automatic dual zone climate control which also very nicely has vents uh, in the rear where you'll also find your USBs and your power sockets there too. This I really enjoy because it's also got a sliding armrest which is really nice and then you can access those cup holders that how cool is it the one cup holder has a cooling and warming function I like that a lot. Also standard is the R-Link 2 system which comes with a 7 inch touchscreen with a smartphone connectivity and it works with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well as intuitive voice command and you can also connect your phone via Bluetooth which is really cool and that LED dashboard is standard. So that's standard across the entire range but if you spec up the Dynamic what we have got it gives you your hands-free key card leather seats and what I like is that for driver and front passenger it is also power driven there are front and side parking sensors that are then added to the standard rear sensors and you get a rear camera which is so cool. You've got quite a few options in terms of optimizing the camera for various conditions, in particular uh, the image settings. Yet depending on the contrast, the darkness, the light time, you can adjust all of that to make sure that you're getting the best visibility at any time and you can also tweak your guidelines whether you want them dynamic or static. So really nice functionality and loads of personalization options. We know the R2 Link system is standard, but because we're in the top spec, we've got this bigger screen, the 8.7 inch. It reminds me a lot of the Volvo, the vertical configuration of it. And that is where the one little irritation comes in because it's kind of like a detuned version to what Volvo offers. So have a look at what it does with CarPlay. They haven't been able to configure the mirror of the phone onto this vertical screen. So you've kind of got a pretty small layout, which I mean, it works fine. So it's a, a very small little bugbear, but it would be nice if they'd got that configured to fit into the full 8.7 inch touchscreen. Would have been nice. The 
There is only one engine of choice for South Africa. That's a 2.5 litre four cylinder 16 valve petrol engine, which has been a faithful servant for the company and really does deliver acceptable performance figures. You're looking at 126 kilowatts and 233 Newton meters. Globally, this engine is only offered with their all new Xtronic CVT 7 speed. Now, when they say 7 speed, it's stepped to simulate 7 speed transmissions. Now, for the numerous haters of how a CVT goes about its business, what's going to annoy you even more is the fact that the Coolios doesn't give you any paddle shifters, so you can't even try and mimic that step sensation. And as for the drive, well, for this type of application, I think this car is a little too firmly sprung. I'd love them to just rework the damper settings a little bit just to make it a bit more comfortable and compliant. It's great when you're on perfect roads, but on roads like we're driving on now where the surface is a little rippled or you're going over speed bumps, it's quite brutal and jarring. You know, sometimes all you need to get ahead in business and uh, sidestep those tough time puddles is a big set of Coolios and Renault have done the right thing with this car. It offers a way more compelling package in that mid-size SUV segment than the Kajar ever could in the compact one. With really cool Renault styling, uh, well specced as we've come to expect from all Renaults and a simplified model lineup with one engine, one transmission, it really does make it a tough car to ignore. But where they've really uh, polish their Coolios is from a pricing perspective. The entry level expression starts at 100 Rand shy of the 400k mark and the top spec Dynamic 4x4 that we in just under 480,000 Rand. I, I actually genuinely cannot believe how well priced this car is. All of that for under 500k is just unbelievable. And you know where that first generation Coolios may have been a a bit of a washout from a sales success. I think the second generation one is going to bring, and it has to bring, sunny days for Renault here in South Africa.